Hi Silhouette Plus group. I just got the new Silhouette Studio Designer Edition and I have to say they made a lot of changes. I'm so excited. This is great. Okay, first of all, I'm going to go over to the this one here that I noticed right away. This is the Shear Tool. And I just make my little selection there and I want it sheared at 30 degrees. There we go. You can customize it to shear more down here. Uh, and do your negatives there, do a negative 30 there, and get all kinds of shapes just from using the shear tool. Okay, now I'm going to um, hop over here to this new one. You're going to love this. Okay, we make a shape and select that shape. Click over here for our rhinestone tool. We can select the size of the rhinestones we're going to use to make it. And I'm just going to do an edge one. There you go. That means any shape now we can easily make into our, our rhinestone shapes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one out. And then I'm going to hop over here to this new little scribble tool over here. Okay, um, we're going to take a square here. And if I select the square and I say I want it to scribble it like that, there we go. That's our scribble. I can go back. You can keep on selecting all the different little things that you want. You can do uh, fill it with a crosshatch, diamond shapes, scribbles. You can release the sketch. And I have to play around this more because I just now got it. So we're going to go on to go ahead and delete this out. And I'm going to go over here to our new eraser tool. This is great. Okay, look at this. If first of all we can go up here to solid line and when we erase it does the same thing it used to but as you can see we have different sizes of erasers that we can use and we also have our little square erasers but if we go over here to outline and we use one of our erasers and we go like this look it really erases woohoo Okay, and now I'm going to delete that out, draw another little rectangle to show you the next new feature I found so far, and it is the knife tool. Oh yeah, look at this. You can pick all of these different, a straight knife, a poly knife, a curved knife, freehand, triangular, sawtooth, all kinds of things. So since this is really, really new to me, I'm going to just do this dovetail again. Except I could have put it down on the image, huh? Okay, let's go back to the knife tool and do the dovetail. I'm going to start here. No more making all of those little shapes when I'm going to make tabs. That just perforated it there. Let's try something different. I'm going to delete that. Let's do a circle and see what it does with that same dovetail. Let's go right down here in the middle. Oh, I think maybe I have to have it selected. Well, let's see. No. Okay, let's try to serrate it. I want to blow this up to see what it looks like because I'm still playing with it. Just got it. Don't know what it all does. I don't know why these different knife tools are different or maybe it's so can go into more angles or something like that. Let's try solid. And do the knife tool. I'm going to shrink this down again. Let's go back. Let's try a square here. Let's see what we do. We'll try that dovetail again. Let me blow this up so we can see it better. And I have it selected on solid. So if we start here, let's see what it does. Aha! There we go. So solid it does that. And outline. We go across this line. It's just going to make little dashed lines for us. 
Isn't this terrific? Like I said, I just got it. I'm sure there's other things in here I can poke around and see if it works better and what it does. But basically, um, all of the other tools are the same. I'm just going to click through here real quick and see if I see anything different. And then I'll go back and check more out later. And if I find anything else that's new, I'll let you know and get back with all of you. Okay, have a great evening. See you on the forum. Bye.